Today, as the bulk of coronavirus restrictions were lifted in England, thousands of Londoners used the underground network to get to work. Holloway Road Station, in North London is one stop which will have been thronged with commuters using the escalators this morning. But their commutes could have been entirely different if a project embarked on more than a century earlier, which saw an experimental spiral escalator built in a lift shaft at the station, had succeeded. Now, a new TV documentary, which airs tonight on yesterday, tells how, after the project failed, London underground staff believed the escalator had been lost forever, before a part of it was found in a lift shaft in 1988. The remaining piece is now held at the London Transport Museum's depot in Afton, West London. Today's episode of Secrets of the London Underground, which is presented by Tim Dunn and transport historian City Holloway, also tells the story of how the Elgin marbles were kept for safekeeping during the Second World War at the now-closed Aldwark station. The spiral escalator was dismantled in 1911 and was believed to have believed to have been lost until its rusting remains were found at the bottom of the lift shaft in 1988. Five years after Reno's failed attempt, the underground's first escalators were installed at Earl's Court Station. Today, there are more than 400 passenger escalators on the London Underground which are used by millions of commuters every year.